What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to recover deleted or lost data from a USB flash drive or a memory card and stuff like that using a program called Any Recover Data Recovery, which supports both Windows and Mac OS. And this tool is available on anyrecover.com, is this one over here. It's one of the best programs out there to recover data from your hard drive, from USB flash drives, SD cards, even SSDs and stuff like that. So if you formatted your flash drive or if you formatted your hard drive, maybe you delete a file, send it to recycle bin and stuff like that, you will be able to scan for it with this program over here. There are also a few mobile versions available. There's the iOS version which allows you to recover data from iOS and then there's also the Android version coming soon. So let's get into recovering the data. I have a flash drive connected to the computer. As you can see it's completely empty. There's absolutely nothing in here and that flash drive was actually formatted. So previously this flash drive contained a couple of photos that I put in here as a demo and then I formatted the flash drive so that I can show you how you can actually recover data that was even formatted. I'm going to press in here on PC and hard drive recovery and then we have an option in here to select which partition we want to use. So you can go with the trash if you know that you've deleted a file and it's been sent to trash and if you cleared the trash as you can see in here it's empty. You can go ahead and press in here and it will recover it from the trash. There is a desktop option, pick a folder from where you want to actually recover the data and if you can't find the location you press in there. Then there is also the option to select a partition. The Macintosh HD in this case is the Mac OS partition, this one over here. The bootcamp partition is basically a Windows installation on the Mac, is the official bootcamp from Apple. And then we have the USB flash drive, is this one over here, which is called Stuff, and it's an XFAT partition. You can see that it's a 16 gig device. Now there is also the option to recover from computer or recover from a crashed computer. So you can create a bootable flash drive with this program and go ahead on a crashed computer that no longer boots and attempt to recover the data from that one, which is actually quite great. But we're going to recover directly from this computer over here and from this flash drive. So I'm going to press in here, it's going to start doing a deep scan. So as you could see, there's absolutely nothing on the flash drive. Everything was deleted. However, the program could find information in a couple of seconds after it started doing the deep scan. You can see that for now we already have 169 photos detected over here. I'm going to go ahead and select this type of view so that we can preview what it finds. And yes, those are the files that I had on the USB flash drive. These are the photos that were in there before formatting it. So you can see that we can already find information on the flash drive. Some of the data may be corrupted and you may not be able to recover it, but some of it could be recovered. Now this depends highly on how much you use that flash drive. For example, if you continue using the flash drive after you've lost some data, after you deleted some data accidentally, you run the chance of actually overwriting that data on the flash drive completely at the chip level, which means that it will no longer be possible to recover the data in the future. So the best thing you could do if you want to recover your data as soon as possible is to stop using that flash drive or hard drive or device if you deleted some data. Here on the official page of the program, if you scroll all the way down, there is an FAQ page and um, it says in here that the best thing you can do if you lost data is to basically stop using that device and use a program like this right away. So you should run a data recovery program as fast as possible after an accidental deletion or formatting or crash and stuff like that to get the biggest chance of recovering your data. So I'm going to stop the search for the moment and as you can see this is what it could find so far and it could find the photos at least some of them so I'm going to try to recover them and I'm going to deselect the files that don't look like proper files these for example look like thumbnails or whatever but they do not seem to be recoverable so I'm going to remove those in here that do not have a thumbnail and then I'm going to press recover over here and that's basically it and then I'm going to press recover over here and select where to actually save them so I'm going to create a new folder I'm going to say recovery and I'm going to open it and save the data in here and now the program will start recovering my files and save them locally to the computer. Don't worry, it will not overwrite anything on the flash drive, it will save them directly to the computer so that you can still do this again in the future if you need to do it or if you need to scan for more files and stuff like that. The program actually takes some time to recover the data but it seems to be working fine. So let's open the recovery folder and see what it contains for the moment. I'm gonna go here to photos and jpeg and I want to see them as icons and if I open one of them, yes it looks like the files do appear to be working at least those that could be recovered are recovered well. So for now everything is okay. These are a couple of thumbnails but yes so far so good. If you go in here on all files on photo and then we go to JPG you can see an example of file that was overwritten. This image was partially available but as you can see the rest is cray. Because I kept using that flash drive and I kept putting files on it at some point it started actually overwriting some files. But this is the reason why you have to move very fast 
once you delete some files from the flash drive. You should grab the program right away to make sure that you get more files, because if you keep using the flash drive, you will get less and less files recovered as the files get overwritten. So as you can see, these actually work, they are not corrupted, this one in here as well, this one in here, they do appear to be working fine. So you can see that loads of files have been recovered from an otherwise empty flash drive, so so far so good. So at this point everything was recovered, all the data that could be recovered has been recovered and you can find it in the appropriate folder in the data recovery in here and it's already on categories and stuff like that so you can see everything is now available over here. Data that works, so that's basically it, it's as simple as that, that's how you recover the data. But then this program also has more tools available, so there is also all drive in here which allows you to do backup to the cloud and stuff like that. There is also iPhone data recovery, if you want to recover from an iTunes backup or from iCloud or if you want to fix the system that no longer boots and stuff like that. Definitely check the program out in the link below. Thank you for watching, I am Geo Snow. till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.